Hi everyone, uh, Lawrence from Insania Music are here and today I'm looking at controller assignments in Logic 9 um, and not specifically how you set them up because um, SF Logic Ninja already has an absolutely uh, fantastic tutorial on how you do that um, I'll put the link just there um, and if you don't know how to do it nip over there and have a look because it's just fantastic my um, video today is is more about a problem I've been having with control assignments um, in Logic 9 and specifically using multiple keyboards. Um, so I have a, a Keystation 88 um, in this studio. At home I use an Axiom 49. Um, ox I use an oxygen keyboard around the place. Um, the problem is um, when you set up all of your control assignments <coughs> with your keyboard plugged in and, and logic remembers all of that the moment that you it seems the moment you unplug it and plug a new keyboard in um, it, it loses what you told it it unless you have the same setup all the time um, programming um, your control assignments it just becomes a waste of time and it's really frustrating because um, as you've seen from the other videos um, I like to set up things where I have um, my plugin, like this East West um, plugin here, uh, and you look down here, all of my different patches um, have different auxiliary outputs, um, and then they set up here in my mixer, and I can use my controller keyboards. I'm putting the slide faders up and down here, just like a mixer. Um, you know, it's a virtual mixer for me, um, so I can control all of all of the dynamics and, and that as I'm programming. So, not being able to use those um, setups across different mixes is becoming a real, it became a real pain in the ass. Um, and if you go into preferences, controller assignments, and you look here, um, that you can see I've got all of my auxiliary set up. Yeah, I've got setups for the Axiom, I've got setups for the iPhone and iPod Touch OSC. Um, but if you have a look here, normally, um, it says it defaults to any um, and that's your first thing when you have problems setting this up you've got to go and select what port you're using and when you have a look down here I don't know if this will work or not but there you go you can see now now it, like when it's on any if you can hear that but I'm moving the fader up and down when I go back and select port 88 it moves up and down that's fine but what happens is as soon as I unplug and I will unplug it for you I'll just turn it off as soon as I turn off my key station, it goes away. I don't know if you heard the click, but I'll turn it back on, and it comes back. The trouble is it won't remember that. Um, it took forever to try and figure out um, how to do this, and the way I did um, figure it out was there's a great um, there's a great post over here on the Apple um, discussions. Logic keeps losing control assignments. Do a search for it, or I'll put a link into the um, into the notes below this um, and um, this guy girl guy has has um, given you the complete solution and what it involves is using the IAC driver and if you click on the IAC driver it's like a internal um, imaginary um, MIDI port um, but the great thing about it is because it's in your MIDI studio and, and your Apple setups is Logic never forgets it. It always loads the IAC driver all the time. Now, this is this is this can get confusing, guys. Um, so um, I'll put a link in. You really need to go and read all of this. Honestly, I'm not the greatest on environments. I just followed the steps um, in this in this post, um, and it worked perfectly. For me um, and it never forgot the assignments um, absolutely perfect the one thing um, that it didn't have uh, on this post is um, how to use um, two different sorts of keyboards and the worst thing is the Keystation 88 and the Axiom Pro have like I don't know how you say it but they're like different transmitters numbers so Fader 1 when I used Fader 1 um, it wasn't uniform across both keyboards like Fader 1 on the 88 um, ended up being Fader 5 on the Axiom 49 on, and so 
that was problem number two. How do you get around that? Well, the way you do it is, and this is the way I did it, I created two IAC driver ports, and I'm, I'm sorry I have to move quickly through this, but um, try and stick with me. So I created one port and called it Axiom 49, I called the other port and called it Keystation 88. You can create as many ports as you want. On, see, I've just created another one on the IAC bus there. Take that one away. Um, so I created one port from 88 and one port from Axiom 49. Now, you can see here I have an IAC driver for the 88 and an IAC driver for the 949. Uh, That's the two ports that I created. Okay, and they won't float. They will stay solid all the time. So um, your um, all your settings for that will be remembered. If I go to the 49, look IAC driver 49. If I go to the key station, IAC driver 88. Okay, you with me? I go into the environment. I go up to clicks and ports. Now this is the exact setup that we've got here. Okay, exactly the way they set it up. My only difference is, you'll see up here, Keystation 88, that's the IAC, and Axiom 49, that's the other IAC. Okay, I don't know why Logic makes these so goddamn small that you need like a microscope to actually see the connections, but this is how it works. Okay, so going, just coming back in here, I set everything up. In the control assignments, I set everything for IAC driver 88, key station. Everything remembers that. Okay. If I'm on the Axiom 49, when I am plugged in, I have everything remembered for the IAC driver Axiom 49. Okay. I go back into my environment here. And this is the trick. When I'm using the Keystation 88 in the studio, I have the Keystation 88 cabled into that input, and I have that instrument selected as the Keystation 88. And everything functions perfectly. When I move to my other keyboard at home, which is my uh, Axiom 49. <coughs> I take that cable, <coughs> I disconnect it. Okay. Now I take the 49 and connect it. I turn my instrument into the Axiom 49 driver, and that's my 49 setup. So now what will happen is whenever Logic sees something that's transmitted from the Axiom 49, the key station is now rendered useless, it won't work, and the 49 takes over, and all of my control changes and my um, mapped assignments work. So that's how you go between three or four different workstations, if you understand what I mean. So if I'm coming back to this studio, I want to use the key station 88, I go to my environment, clicks and ports, I disconnect the 49, I connect the key station 88, and I change my instrument to 88, and away it will go. Alright guys, hope that helps. Um, any questions? leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. But it's a really, really great way of working if you've got more than one controller keyboard and, it, and logic keeps forgetting your controller assignments. See you next time.